Hello guys, we are once again back with some more Hearthstone content and dates. Pretty much just the morning, I just woke up as you can see it's um... Well you can't really sh see that, let's see if we go to like my collection and see it better. It's like what, half 11? Yeah, half 11 in the morning in Finland, so I just woke up. Um, but um, I just wanted to do this qu video quickly now before I start the um, Plague Quarter, which is finally out. I'm super excited, we're gonna buy that today. But before that, I wanted to do a quick video showcasing um, what decks I used to beat the um, heroic bosses on the Arachnid Quarter. Now, um, I'm hoping that this will be helpful to someone because um, I find they are quite um, difficult if you use your normal um, ladder decks or what you use in the meta. Um, so you really need to build specific decks for those and um, also many decks have, and I have seen online, have a lot of legendaries. And uh, my decks are quite cheap, so I'm hoping that if you only have rares and basics and maybe some epics, you can build around this deck and get some good ideas. So, um, uh, just to prove that I have actually done these things, I'm gonna show you just quickly here that, um, yes, I indeed have completed all of the heroic bosses. And, um, yeah, let's start with the, um, how I started. So I started with the, um, Grand Bureau of Elena, which is the female character, which... Whose hero power is um in heroic um one mana and um it's the same in the um what is his face please shut up so yeah it's the same as in the casual mode but it's only one mana so she technically can play it every single turn so it's very important that you um get your hand emptied quickly so I use the same deck I use in the normal mode which is my zoo deck. Um, you know, Zoo is pretty cheap, I have Leroy there, but you don't have to have a Leroy. I won the game without um, getting Leroy once. Um, you know, there are maybe a couple of rares here. The Knife Juggler is one, Mad Bomber, you know, you can kind of change these around. Um, Young Priestess, I have only one, because I only have one. Oh, this is actually, really? Oh, why don't we go ahead and uh, do that, okay. Um, shield bearers, like a lot of just basic and um, and um, class specific cards. So pretty cheap deck, zoo as it always is, but um, it works very well against the Grand Widow. You might need a couple of starts because if you really get like a slow starting hand, the hero power might crush you. So next up, I believe I beat the um. Also, if you wanna pause the video while I show the deck list, if you wanna copy it, so please do that. I won't be showing them for ages, so just pause the video. Um, so next up, I believe I beat my Yexna. Now I've seen, please. Oh god. Yeah, 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 she is. So, um, now this is very interesting because of, um, I usually see this beaten by hunters or aggro decks. Now I used a very different kind of approach. Um, so the hero of her is the. Uh, it costs zero mana and it's returned two random enemy minions to your opponent's hand. Now, she's programmed so that she starts her turn always with this hero power. It doesn't matter, even if you don't have minions on the board, she plays the hero power first. And also she starts with um, two of the haunted creepers on the board um, before turn one. And the um, haunted creeper is the um, card, which um, is the new card. New card in the um, expansion, so she starts with two of these on the board. Anyways, um, I decided to go for um, um, actually a mage. Now, I don't know if this was a mistake because I was thinking about playing a mage for an Uber card, but I thought that oh, I, sudden, I, I apparently made a mage deck, so why don't we go ahead and try um, using this against my ex? Now, now, it took me a lot of tweaking and getting the right cards in here and. Um, well, and it took quite many tries because you need a very specific starting hand. But with this deck, you can beat my ex now. This is a ridiculously cheap deck if you don't take the Leroy Jenkins in count. Um, there is just mage specific ca cards, and there are Earthen Fasciers, which are basic cards or cash. What is it called? Common card. Yes, there we go. Common cards, and there are there are no rares in this deck, I believe. Um, yeah, no rares in the deck, just uh, common cards and class specific cards. It's a very cheap deck, uh, but it works. So let me give the idea straight because it's very important that you understand it. 
So you need to let her fill her board full of one ones, or then you need to help it. Because if she starts to play bigger minions like three five taunts or um, something else, you really need to um, get rid of those, and so that he her board is full of one ones. So in that case, she does seven damage to her each turn, which is fine. Because if you can get the Voodoo Doctor in your starting hand, as well as Earthen Ring Farseer rather quickly, you can heal on turn 4 of 5 each turn back to your health, because she will always use the Hero Power to play those back to your hand. So you will technically take only 2 damage. And uh, when you get Leroy, or something big Charger dude, um, there is... Um, what else do we have? Okay, let's go Charge... Um, Reckless Rocketeer would probably work, and that's that's pretty much the only thing that would work besides Leroy. And um, the Polymorph is here, if she plays something big, then you can make it a 1-1. One, one. But it's very important that you um, get a Voodoo Doctor in your starting hand. As well as an Earthen Ring Fuzz here, um, hopefully before turn 3. So, you know, if you don't get a Voodoo Doctor in your starting hand, just restart, it doesn't take that long. And there are blue kills such... Just if you happen to get these early, so you can play them, do some extra damage, you have frost bolts. always hit face for with these spells, always. There's one polymorph, because if she plays like the Shade of Naxxramas or something else, you can make it a 1-1 one, one and kind of force her bot to be full of 1-1s, one, so that she can't do anything else. And she doesn't have a uh, removal. Well, yes, she does, the Necrotic Potion, but if you just play 2 minions a turn, which is very important, do not play more than 2 minions a turn. Except if they are taunts, like these guys, then it's fine. Um, but it's very important to play just Leroy and Earthen Ring Fast here in the late game. And you will win that way. Then there are obviously uh, Frost Novas to uh, slow down her and Ice Barriers to do for the same thing. And Fireballs and um, um, Frost Balls for additional damage. And then these other cards are just kind of, you can fiddle around with these. But, um, you know, I found that this deck works out. Um, right, so then the last one is Anubra Khan. Now, this is a very interesting deck. It is a um, pretty sick hero power. Thunder Spider Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, the only thing against this deck is you can't lose tempo. Now, it may seem very hard because she can play pretty much a 2 to every single turn. And um, it can be very frustrating. So, what you really need to do is get cards that do 4 damage or and have more health. So, what I did for this was a druid deck. Um, there it is, and will be heroic. And uh, this is also quite a cheap deck. There are inner ways, Argent Squires, Magos of Wilds. Are there are there even any rares? Yes, Defender of Ugs and Keeper of the Grow. Um, those are rares, and a Drake, as well as Sunwalkers. And you don't need the Ancient of War if you don't have it. Um, but the idea of this is that there are buffs that get you to 4 or 5 taunts, hopefully, for example, Margot Valor and Harvest Golem, that's a 4 or 5 taunt, that can trade with a 4 or 4, as well as stay alive and trade with something else. And there are swipes, of course, there are yetis, Defender of August buff up, um, Keeper of the Growth to de deal just a bit of extra damage, and, you know, drawing and just, just things that do 4 damage and still stay alive, hopefully. And this is my version of the deck, um, it won it, I believe it's like second try. So it's a pretty solid deck against Anub, Anub. Only thing you need to do is remove. And then when you, you know, when she has nothing in his hand and... Uh, what is it? He, I don't know what Anub can. let's say it. When it has only um, like um, the hero power to play each turn, you win. Then you can just play out as many minions as you want to and trade with them and uh, you won the game. So, uh, yeah, but um, anyway, this was just a quick showcase um, for <coughs> people maybe um, looking for cheap options to um, deck-wise to win the um, heroic bosses in the Arknit quarter. I will hopefully do a this kind of video on the second quarter, which we are going to play later tonight. So, uh, yes, thanks for watching, and as always, remember to stay awesome.